Good morning, everybody. It is the 23rd of May. It is Thursday. Okay, so what I've got for you for this video is, um, this isn't a random book drawing. Um, I've read part of this book before. But uh, I haven't read the whole thing. And I thought that it was time that I reread it and read the whole book this time. Um, because there's um, sometimes I have an issue with forgiveness. So I bought this book a long time ago. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to read this whole book. And I'm going to try to do it in the next seven days, so this is pretty much, this is going to be in, like, there's going to be a lot of videos of this for the next seven days, so, okay, this is starting in chapter two, and this is Julie Ann Barnhill, I love her, I love the way that she writes, she's so funny, and so, just, like, almost like whimsical or something like I freaking love the way she writes it's freaking awesome okay so I'm just so glad I found these books um okay chapter two is a mess of magnificent proportions hi my name is Julie and I am a mess for most of my 38 years, I found myself to be in said state. This bit of mesaholic truth isn't altogether shocking once you take a few facts into consideration. Fact. I routinely forget how particular letters of the alphabet are composed when signing checks or attempting to write my own name thereby leaving me no other option than to scroll random lines and dashes in a mad attempt to form the letters J and B. Fact. I'm prone to forget any and all manner of pertinent information when attempting to think and speak at the same time. Sigh. This has happened more times than I care to or can even recall. Such as the night I was about to wrap up a spectacular keynote presentation. The audience had been a speaker's dream. They laughed and snorted in all the right places. Then just as I was about to wrap it all up with a knock their socks off with a knock their socks off finale, it happened. Right there. Smack dab mid sentence I utterly and completely forgot my final point. I'm talking biblical as far as the east is from the west. I already know. <laughs> forgotten. I had no clue where I was going or where I had been. <laughs> Brain drain nobody was home. Looking into the crowd, I queried, What was my last point? Everyone laughed. Isn't she clever? They thought, perhaps. No, really, I pleaded. Was anyone taking notes? Fact. When barking out parental decrees, I routinely forget the names of my own children, hence randomly spouting names of their siblings, nephews, and even annoying animated cartoon characters when attempting to gain their attention. I'm a mess, all right. Take the time I traveled to Chicago, for instance. I was to attend a Thursday evening business dinner, spend the night at a local bed and breakfast, and then drive to Midway Airport the, fo airport the following morning to board a plane for Fraser, Michigan. Thankfully, a light dusting of snow that Friday morning did not impede busy Chicago traffic, and I found myself pulling into the long-term budget parking lot a couple of hours ahead of schedule. That was a good thing, for having failed to consider the walking distance to the nearest apartment or airport shuttle pickup, I 
found myself wandering aimlessly through the red and blue economy parking lot maze, haphazardly wheeling an oversized chunk of luggage behind me. Okay, so that is all for this video. If you like this content, like this video or comment below if you feel free to do so. Thank you for watching this video and have a good night, a good morning, or a good day depending on what time or where you're watching this.